Cops call to school for an eight-year-old boy. The reason is heartbreaking. Being a police officer often comes with much hate and criticism. More often than not, especially in today's world, police officers are viewed as corrupt and violent, as people who are more than happy to exercise their power in any way they see fit. The result is that in the eye of the public, police officers often have a poor reputation. However, this narrative that all police officers are bad people may not be quite as accurate as some of us would like to think, and this can clearly be seen by the ways that many police officers conduct themselves on a daily basis. Here we have a heartbreaking story of a young boy whose teacher called the cops on him, but what happens next when a certain police officer named Daryl Robinson arrives on the scene will astound you. This story took place on what appeared to be a regular Monday morning like any other, or what seemed like any other. Eight-year-old Tommy was bursting with excitement. Today was his birthday and he couldn't wait for the celebration his mother had promised. He'd been counting down the days imagining a day filled with cake balloons and his favorite toys. Tommy lived with his mother in a small apartment. His father had left a long time ago, leaving behind memories too distant for Tommy to recall. His mother, while loving in her own way, struggled with personal battles that often kept her preoccupied. Despite this, Tommy loved her deeply and held on to the hope that birthdays would be different, that they would be special. Before he got out of bed in the morning, he thought to himself, Today's my birthday. I'm so excited. The day hasn't even started yet. I'm practically bouncing off the walls with joy. Birthdays are the best days. I can't wait to celebrate and have fun. I've been thinking about this day forever, and now it's finally here. There will be presents, cake, and all the things that make birthdays super awesome. But you know what makes it even better? I get to spend the whole day with my mom. She said she's coming to pick me up from school, and I just can't wait to see her. I love my mom so much. She's the best, and having her on my birthday is the greatest gift ever. We're going to do all sorts of fun things together. Maybe she has a surprise for me. I wonder what it could be. I'm bursting with curiosity and happiness. I'm just a little scared because my mom has been having problems lately and sometimes she acts really funny. She likes to drink something called alcohol. Last month I had to stay in my aunt for two weeks because the police wanted to see my mom about something. Today's gonna be amazing. I'm already counting down the minutes until school ends and I get to celebrate my special day with my wonderful, incredible, and loving mom. Tommy got up out of bed and was ready for what he thought was going to be one of the best days in his life, and certainly the best birthday ever. It was still early, but his mom was already half awake and sitting at the kitchen table. Morning, she said to Tommy without even looking up at him or without acknowledging his birthday. She seemed tired and hungover, but Tommy had seen her in much worse condition. Are you going to be feeling good enough to come pick me up after school and celebrate my birthday with me? He asked his mom hesitantly, who was staring at the kitchen table. She looked up and said, Oh yeah, it is your birthday today, isn't it? I got some really special plans for you today. She said, even though Tommy could tell that she had clearly forgotten it was his birthday. He was really worried that she wasn't going to come pick him up after school, too. Please don't forget to come pick me up, Mom. I want to spend all day after school with you and go to the arcade. Don't worry, honey, I'll be there right when the last bell rings, she said through slurred speech. She was already well on her way to being drunk, something that seemed like a normal daily occurrence. However, Tommy's spirits remained high because his mom promised him, I promise that we'll spend all day together and do everything you want for your birthday. With this promise, although Tommy was still a bit skeptical, he was pretty sure that his mom would come pick him up and give him the best birthday of his life. So Tommy left for school. He walked nearly 25 minutes each morning just to get there. Along the way, Tommy met his friend, someone who he often walked to school with, Daniel. Daniel, along with the rest of the community, knew that Tommy's mother had problems with alcohol. The two boys had a conversation on the way to school. Hey, Daniel, guess what? Today's my birthday, Tommy said. My mom's going to pick me up after school. We're going to have a special celebration. Really? That's cool, but are you sure your mom will remember? You know, with her drinking habits? Daniel replied. Of course she'll remember. It's my birthday. I wouldn't be so sure. She might be too wasted to even make it to school. You might end up celebrating all alone. That's not true. My mom promised she'd be here. She said this birthday's going to be different. He said hopefully yet hesitantly. Tommy knew there was a distinct chance his mother wouldn't show up. Different, huh? Well, let's hope she keeps her promise this time, but I wouldn't get my hopes up too high if I were you. Tommy arrived at school and proceeded to all of his classes. The day went quite normally. Tommy enjoyed the game of dodgeball they played in gym. As the school day drew to a close, Tommy's excitement grew more and more. He reminded his teacher and friends countless times about his plans for the day. My mom's gonna pick me up from school and we're gonna spend the whole day together having cake and presents. Tommy's homeroom teacher was already concerned, as she knew all too well how Tommy's mother's alcohol problem could very well ruin the day. The teacher responded by saying, I hope you have a very happy birthday, Tommy, and remember that even if your mom doesn't come to pick you up, she still loves you very much. Tommy still held hope that his mom would come on time and responded, No, today will be different. She'll be here, you see. 
But as the minutes stretched into hours, the cheerful anticipation turned into anxious glances toward the school gate. His mother was nowhere to be seen. Unbeknownst to Tommy, his mother had encountered legal trouble that morning, resulting in her arrest and subsequent detention. Tommy's mom had gone to the local supermarket very intoxicated where she caused a scene. She was drunk and assaulted a cashier, at which point the police were called. Ma'am, I need you to calm down and explain what happened here. Why should I calm down? The cashier was so rude to me. She screamed through slurred speech with spit flying everywhere. I understand you're upset, but assaulting the cashier is unacceptable. I'm going to have to ask you to come with me. You can't arrest me. I didn't do anything wrong. Ma'am, you're clearly very intoxicated and you've assaulted someone. I need to detain you for public intoxication and assault. At this point, she became aggressive and tried to punch the officer. Don't you touch me. You have no right. She screamed in drunken frustration as she threw a poorly aimed punch. Ma'am, please don't resist. I'm placing you under arrest for public intoxication, assault, and now assault on a peace officer. You can't do this to me. I have to pick up my son from school. It's his birthday. I promised that I'd pick him up to celebrate. I'm sorry, but I have to take you into custody. We can make arrangements for someone to pick up your son. So now Tommy's mom was in jail, sitting in the drunk tank, and she wouldn't be released anytime soon, certainly not in time to pick up Tommy. As the last of the students left at the end of the school day, Tommy remained hoping against hope that his mother would rush in at any moment apologizing for the delay. But the reality sank in that she wasn't coming. His heart sank, tears welled up, and a profound sense of loneliness enveloped him. Tommy went to his homeroom teacher and started crying. I don't understand. It's my birthday and my mom said she'd be here, but she's not. School ended ages ago and everyone's gone home except me. I keep looking out the window hoping to see her car pull up, but she's not there. I'm starting to feel really anxious and scared. Maybe she forgot? But she wouldn't forget my birthday, right? I feel a lump in my throat and my eyes are all watery. Where could she be? I just want her to be here. I'm sitting here by myself and I can't help but cry now. I just want my mom to be here with me on my birthday. Tommy's teacher had predicted this outcome and was ready. Don't worry, Tommy, we're going to have our own little birthday celebration, although she really didn't know what to do. She went up to some of the other teachers. We absolutely have to do something for this poor young man. How sad his mother had to break the law and was taken to prison on his birthday. Yeah, we have to do something. We have to give this child a birthday that he'll remember in a positive light even if his mom's not here, one of the teachers said. Knowing the predicament and understanding that Tommy's mother was absent due to unforeseen circumstances involving her arrest, the teachers found themselves at a loss. However, these educators had a reliable ally they could turn to, the Green Bay Police Department. The teachers noted that Officer Daryl Robinson has always been here to help us in times of need, and we think he'd be the perfect person to come help now. Maybe he could cheer Tommy up. As the officer arrived, he immediately engaged with Tommy, offering a reassuring presence and a sense of stability amid the uncertainty the young boy faced. Hey there, Tommy. I'm Officer Robinson. I know today didn't go as planned, and I'm really sorry about that. Your mom, she's okay, all right, but she won't be able to make it today. I'm here to make sure you're safe and taken care of until we sort things out. I can see you're feeling really down, and that's completely okay. It's tough when things don't go as expected, especially on your special day. But you know, sometimes unexpected things happen, and it's not your fault. Your mom loves you a lot, and I'm sure she wishes she could be here right now. You know, birthdays are still special, even if things don't go as planned. What's your favorite superhero? I've always been a fan of superheroes. They're pretty cool, right? And hey, do you like playing sports? I used to love playing catch when I was your age. Let's talk about things that make us happy, like your favorite games or hobbies. Sometimes distractions can help, and I want to make sure you feel a bit better. It's okay to be upset, but I'm here to listen and chat with you. You're not alone, Tommy. I'll stay right here with you until we figure everything out. And I promise things will get better. We'll find a way to make your birthday special, even if it's not today. You're a brave kid, and I admire that. We can talk about anything you want, and I'm here to help put a smile back on your face. Poor Tommy responded by saying, It's just not the same without my mom here. I don't even have a party, a cake, or any presents, and I'm all alone. Realizing that Tommy's birthday was slipping by without any celebration, Daryl sprang into action. He reached out to his fellow officers and some local businesses, appealing for help to make Tommy's birthday memorable. In no time, he had gathered balloons, a small cake, and a few gifts, a gesture of kindness that spoke volumes to the boy. Transforming the school's office into an impromptu celebration venue, Officer Robinson, along with a few officers, teachers, and school staff, orchestrated a surprise birthday party for Tommy. The room buzzed with laughter and warmth as Officer Robinson led the group in singing Happy Birthday, making sure Tommy knew he wasn't alone and forgotten. They all sang together, but Daryl knew a simple song wasn't going to be enough to lift Tommy's spirits on this otherwise terrible day, so he decided to take it upon himself to make a positive difference in this boy's life. With a smile on his face, Officer Robinson said, I'm going to give this boy a birthday worth remembering. 
Daryl invited Tommy to join him on a special adventure. Let's go to my police car. We can go for a ride and pretend to catch some criminals. Maybe we can get some food after that, too. Tommy was a bit hesitant at first because, after all, Officer Robinson wasn't his mother. I don't know if I want to do anything else today. I was so excited to see my mom, but now the day isn't nearly as special. I just want to go home. However, Daryl insisted, saying that, Come on, Tommy. We'll have a great time riding around. I'll even let you play with the sirens. Word of being able to play with the sirens seemed to pique Tommy's interest. Leading the way into his vintage police car, a vehicle that exuded both authority and nostalgia, he opened the door and welcomed Tommy inside. The boy's eyes widened with excitement at the prospect of riding in a police car, a dream come true for a child fascinated by law enforcement. The sound of the siren filled the air as Tommy's laughter echoed, creating a bond between the two that transcended the typical roles of officer and civilian. This is so fun! Daryl had been gifted some Papa John's vouchers from his police department and he noticed Tommy was getting hungry. Do you want to go get something to eat? We could go to Papa John's and you could get whatever you want. It's a birthday treat on me. This really seemed to pique Tommy's interest as he was quite hungry by now. At Papa John's, Tommy's eyes lit up as Officer Robinson presented him with a set of Green Bay Packers NFL collectible cards. The boy's face illuminated with delight. The Packers were Tommy's favorite team and receiving these cards from a friendly officer made the gift all the more special. The surprises didn't end there. Daryl had thoughtfully brought along child-friendly Green Bay police tattoos and he carefully applied one to Tommy's arm. The temporary tattoo featuring the police department's logo made Tommy feel like an honorary member of the force, filling him with a sense of pride and belonging. Throughout the meal, Daryl engaged Tommy in conversations, sharing anecdotes and stories, creating a bond that extended beyond their roles as officer and young citizen. He listened attentively to Tommy's tales of football and superheroes, fostering a connection built on genuine care and understanding. Hey Tommy, so what's your favorite sport? Officer Daryl asked, leaning in with genuine interest. I really like playing basketball, Tommy replied, his eyes lighting up. I watch all the games on TV, too. That's awesome. Do you have a favorite team? Officer Daryl asked, matching Tommy's excitement. Yeah, the Green Bay Warriors, they're so cool. I'm a fan, too. Steph Curry's three-pointers are something else. Do you ever play at the park? Officer Daryl asked. All the time. I practice dribbling and shooting with my friends. It's so much fun, Tommy beamed. Practice makes perfect, right? Hey, speaking of practicing, do you have a favorite superhero? Spider-Man! Spider-Man's one of my favorites, too. He's got those cool web-slinging moves. Officer Daryl grinned, fully engaged. I wish I could swing like Spider-Man. Me too, buddy. Imagine swinging around the city, Officer Daryl said. Have you seen all the movies? Yeah, and I got some comic books, too. They're super cool. Comics are the best. I got a collection at home, Officer Daryl shared, nodding in agreement. Now that the day was coming to an end, it was time to take Tommy back home. But of course, his mother wouldn't be there to receive him. Officer Robinson asked, So, Tommy, do you have any other family that can take care of you? Yeah, my grandpa and older sisters live at home too. They don't really take care of me, but at least I'm not alone. Daryl was saddened by this statement because legally he had to take Tommy back home, even though he knew that Tommy wouldn't receive the care he needed nor deserved. Officer Robinson drove Tommy home. When he went to the front door, his grandfather swung the door open and yelled, Where have you been? Also clearly drunk and heavily intoxicated. Right as the officer went to take Tommy away with him again, Tommy's older sister, who was of legal age, came to the door and ushered her grandfather aside. Come inside, Tommy. Dinner's ready, the sister said while never mentioning Tommy's birthday. Are you sure you're going to be okay here with your sister and grandfather, the officer asked. Yeah, I'll be fine, especially because you took such good care of me today, Tommy said happily. Even though Tommy's birthday didn't quite go as planned, Officer Daryl had clearly made a positive impact on the young man's life. Bye and thank you for the awesome birthday, Tommy yelled as his new favorite police officer drove off. When asked by local media about his experience, Officer Robinson responded by saying, We brought the eight-year-old to his squad. he never been to a police car before and he's very excited to ride in one, Officer Robinson tells the news. Other parents within the community who had learned about the heartwarming birthday celebration orchestrated by Officer Robinson voiced their appreciation and admiration for the officer's compassion. They lauded his ability to connect with children and make a positive difference, fostering a newfound sense of trust and admiration for law enforcement within the community. Officer Robinson's department praised him in a Facebook post that has since been shared over 3,000 times. Officer Darrell also plans to follow up with Tommy to make sure that he continues to do well and be happy. I do plan on checking on him and seeing how he's doing. If he wants to continue, come tour the police station or see more stuff like the SWAT vehicle or other emergency vehicles that we have and play with the lights and sirens, I'd be happy to do that with him. Officer Robinson's actions that day exemplified the essence of community policing going beyond law enforcement to connect with and uplift the community, one heartfelt gesture at a time. 
His act of kindness left an indelible mark on Tommy, demonstrating the profound impact a compassionate heart can have on a child's life, especially during moments of vulnerability and need. Did you like this story of altruism, of someone stepping outside of the line of duty to make a positive impact in a young man's life? If so, leave us a comment and share what you think. If you like inspiring stories like these, subscribe to our channel for many more heartfelt tales.